Good evening and welcome to our candlelight prayer for Corona. When we light a candle to remind ourselves of the light of God, even in the darkest situation, when we take some time of silence to remember those who have lost their lives to COVID-19 and then share the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. There was a man went into the chiropodist clinic in the hospital, and he said, I'm looking for a psychiatrist because I think that I'm a moth. And the chiropodist said, well, I'm a chiropodist. Why did you come in here? And the man said, oh, your light was on. Well, I don't know if uh, that shed much light on what we're going to think about tonight, but we're going to return to our original theme of light. And we're going to read something we read way back then, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, from a slightly different translation. Those who walked in the dark have seen a bright light and it shines upon everyone who lives in the land of the darkest shadows. It shines on everyone who lives in the land of the darkest shadows. There's a sense that it picks them out, that it's there especially urgently purposely for them. Now, of course, all lights are for the dark. But for some, there is more of a sense of focus, more of a real need for the light. And there are two lights which do that, that I'm going to speak about tonight. The first one is a lighthouse. It has a very definite focus for those who are in the dark and at sea. Can you imagine being in a boat, maybe not being absolutely sure of where you are, and no stars, no moon to guide you, it's absolutely black and all around you is this inky black sea. But then you see the lighthouse standing up there in the middle of the darkness. And it's a warning light. It's not a light that leads you towards it or gives you a direction, but it tells you what not to do, where not to go. And in that way too, the light of Jesus is like a lighthouse. It shines on our lives and it highlights not just what we should do, how we should be, but it brings into our view all the things that are dangerous to us, all the things that we should avoid. And in the coronavirus situation, with the light of Jesus shining, we can see many things that we should avoid. Decisions that we could take or priorities that we could make or roads that we might go that would lead us to crashing 
on the waves and destroying our own health, the health of other people, the well-being of our family, our community, taking our nation down a wrong path. We praise the Lord that Jesus is that lighthouse and he will show us, shed his light on the things that we should avoid. But of course, we have to obey him. We have to take action so that we don't crash into the rocks. The other kind of light is a pilot light. A pilot light, you know how it works. It's always that wee blue flame uh, in the gas boiler. And it just burns away there. It's always there constantly. But when you really need it, when you need to turn up the heating, turn up the gas for some reason, it's there in abundance and that's its job. Its job is to give you more energy, more light, more heat when you really need it. Jesus is our lighthouse, that warning light to save us from destruction. Jesus is our pilot light, always there and there in abundance with his light and love and presence when we really especially need him. Praise the Lord for all of these things. Amen. Our hymn tonight is Shine, Jesus, Shine. Just the first verse and two choruses. It's a very popular hymn. We love to belt it out. But I'm going to read the words first of the first verse and chorus so that we can take some time quietly to think about their meaning for us. Lord, the light of your love is shining. In the midst of the darkness, shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, spirit blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory. Set our hearts on fire Flow, river, flow Let the nations with grace and mercy Send forth your word Lord, and let there be light Shine, Jesus, shine Fill this land with the Father
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that by your might and power, miraculously, or through the gifts and skills you give to human beings, that the coronavirus would disappear. Heavenly Father, as week follows week, we seem to be in a different set of circumstances with a different set of problems. And the problems these past few weeks have been the lowering of the amount of the virus in our communities, yes. But all of these sudden uprises, sudden spikes in the presence of the virus. We pray that you would give wisdom again to the scientists and to our political and other leaders to know how best to deal with these upsurges in corona. We pray for people who do gather in homes that they would still be very vigilant and keep to the, the rules and regulations. We pray for people who are really tired and weary and just want to go back to normal. May they, may we not be tempted to take risks that cause further damage and a lessening and a turning back on the progress that we've made. Lord, as September time approaches, many church organisations and churches themselves and many community organisations would be starting up. Again, we pray that they would act wisely, that the government would look at the ones which are safe to open up and the regulations under which it's safe for them to open up and that people would abide by that. And because life is starting up again. Those people who are having to be at home will feel all the more isolated. So we pray for them, that you would comfort them, bring them peace, bring light and warmth into the darkness of their loneliness. And we continue to pray, Lord, that people would find very creative ways within the regulations to keep in touch with those who are lonely, keep in touch with the people whose love and relationships they value. Father, there will be some people who are still suffering the long-term effects of the coronavirus and we pray that you would heal them and that you would comfort those who have been bereaved. Hear us now in a moment of quietness as we name before you those about whom we are most concerned. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have heard and will answer all of our prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now go in peace to walk in the light of the Lord. And may the blessing of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and stay with you forever. Amen. Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light Like a little candle burning in the night In this world is darkness, so we must shine You in your small corner and I in mine Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light like a little candle burning in the night in this world is darkness so we must shine you in your small corner 
安在。